Bismillah, alhamdulillah. We are coming to you live from our studios right now, and this is a special day. This is the day of Eid al-Adha, the celebration of the sacrifice ending the days of Hajj. Actually, there's some more things going on with Hajj, but this is after the day of Arafat. And we're excited because we have another special day here, which is the day of announcing some of our winners. And then in the second half, we're going to be talking about that and the prizes they win. But before we go any further, let's do this. We're going to introduce the folks that are here with us in the studio. Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. We have with us Sheikh Mahid Hassan. Kehwalik. Alhamdulillah. How was your Eid day today? Alhamdulillah. My Eid was beautiful. Yeah. I went to the masjid. Everything was nice. Alhamdulillah. Well, good. for the benefit of those watching, you don't know what's the Arabic language. He said masjid, which we might say in English is mosque. Or mosque. Yep. Okay. <laughs> everybody was there today, weren't they? Yep, everybody was there. Yeah, so fact. if you saw a lot of cars going to, toward the mosque today, that's why. Because we had one of our only, we only have two big days and this for was Muslims, one of them. and that was one of them. And uh, now we have some guests with us, too. Let's find out who we have with us today. I think we have uh, a number of young ladies with us, and we have a number of young men. Who are these people, and what are they all about? All uh, right, these are the participants who have been uh, part of the competition. Are they also students? In they're your they're also students uh, in our school. So, alhamdulillah, and uh, they've been showing up uh, every night, mashallah, and they're eager to be part of the game. Is that right, guys? Okay, good. <laughs> Mashallah. So we'll start introducing them from the girl side, as usual. Uh, what is your name, young lady? Fartoon. How old are you? Nine. Nine. And you? Zero. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Sumaya. How old are you, Sumaya? Thirteen. Thirteen. On the back? Fadumo. How old are you? Eighteen. Mashallah. Next to Fadumo is? Salma. Mashallah. How old are you, Salma? Eleven. And we have? Mariam, how old are you, Mariam? 13, mashallah. Keen, how old are you, Keen? Keen, mashallah. Those are the uh, girl side. Now we'll start with the boys. What's your name? Saeed. Saeed, how old are you, Saeed? 12. 12. What's your name? Kamal. Kamal, how old are you, Kamal? 6. Six. And you? Muhammad. How old are you, Muhammad? Five. You're five years old, mashallah. Five years old, mashallah. <laughs> mashallah. Kainan, how old are you, Kainan? Five as well. Okay, mashallah. Two five-year-old boys, five boys with us today. Us we are very blessed to mashallah. have you with us. <laughs> All right, and we have Zakari. How old are you, Zakari? Fourteen. And mashallah. Ahmed. How old are you, Ahmed? Twelve. Twelve, mashallah. Yeah, so these Ahmed are... has been winning a lot of stuff, and Sumaya also have been winning a lot of times. Right. So you got to keep your eye on them tonight. Sumaya kept, uh, ended up, last night she was number one, but she came number two. Uh, Fatima took last night, but mashallah, she, uh, she's been uh, working hard uh, every night as she was participating. And she was one of the people that uh, actually was consistent in terms of uh, joining every single night. Mashallah. So, there yeah, should well, be a special award for attendance yep. as well. You show up, you get something. Same, same with that girl, Rida. Rida, I remember yes. the one that joins from home. I remember that she joined every mm -hmm. night. So there are those participants uh, that are joining us from home. Today I was at the bank and um, I saw three young men. They came to me said, hey, I saw you on Guidus TV, the Quran competition uh, game. I said, oh, okay. And then guess what? I looked at him and said, are you Ahmadu? <laughs> Muhammadu? He said, yeah, that's me. <laughs> ah. I guessed his name and I got it. So uh, they're joining tonight from home as well. So we have okay. those that join us from home and we have the ones that are sitting in the studio. What is special tonight is, inshallah, tonight we will have, we will pick our final winner for the past 10 days, including today. And inshallah, not only that, we will be covering almost 50%, close to 50% of the words that repeat in the Quran. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, today. So Wait a minute. You, uh, no, no, let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. What you're saying, and we didn't rehearse any of this. So yep, we did not. Yeah, uh, you're saying that tonight we're going to be able to cover words that are used in the, in Quran. the Quran. Close to 50%. So the entire Quran, if, you, if you're able to get all of this tonight, that means you're a master and you're halfway through every page you open, 
you'll understand at least 50%. I don't care about any prizes. I just want to see if I can do it. <laughs> Within the first three minutes, we will learn 6,000 words from the Quran. Huh? Yeah. Within three minutes. Guys, I don't know. This, does this sound like an exaggeration? <laughs> this sound like some... Is this a sales pitch? Are you no, selling not. something here? What's this? <laughs> and guess what? One Wait of a minute. The, Say that again. We will be learning close to 6,000 words. 6,000 words, words in three minutes? In three minutes. I, right. even <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do that. <laughs> we'll be using the 2080 rule. We're going to focus on words, high frequency words. Uh, same thing okay. in the English. So that means if you know these words, Quran will be easy Does for you. I'll count. Uh, I'll counts, but I'll it, it'll be it'll be, be yep. It, that counts. It, that counts. Okay. That's what also counts, but it comes in uh, in the form ma. of ma. Actually, that's one one of the words. Uh, ma is one oh. of the words. <laughs> but that's fine. They need to know the translation. Okay. Uh, that's what we're looking at. So ma, okay. for example, I'm sorry. repeats. <laughs> it's fine. All right. It repeats in the Quran for uh, close to a thousand and some uh, point times. If you look at the word ma, and it's one of the uh, high frequency words mm -hmm. in the Quran. So inshallah tonight, not only are we giving out prizes, we'll be giving out condensed version of vocabulary that will help you understand the Quran. And I remember one kid, uh, he read Surah Al-Nuh after going through this vocabulary. And I asked him, okay, read Surah Al-Nuh. He read it. So what is the Surah talking about? He said it's talking about Prophet Nuh, that Allah sent him to his people, that they rejected him. And Allah destroyed them. He had a basic understanding of what the surah was talking about because of this words that repeat in the Quran often. There will be some words that you have not seen before, but a context clue will give you if you have the basic understanding of these words. So these are the words we're going to be learning. So inshallah tonight is double Eid. It is Eid for all of the Muslims and it will be Eid for a particular person and all those who are joining. Inshallah we will have a one winner uh, that will be giving the grand prize that we promised. Uh, guess what? The last person that just joined is Muhammadu, the guy that I met at the bank today. Okay, <laughs> all right. Welcome. So we'll, we'll give him big salam. Yeah, salam. big salam, Muhammadu, right? Muhammadu. And also Sheikh. Sheikh, remember the guy that you uh, uh, actually got the we got the books ready for uh, that we're going to yes. be sending out. So guys, remember those who are at home, uh, we have one eight hundred number. Call, register yourself. Because if you win tonight, we want to know your name. If we're sending out the, you know, we're we're going to yeah. be sending out the price, so it's very yeah. important let's, to let's, register let's yourself. Let's give you that number right now. I want them to be able to call in immediately. Mm -hmm. Don't even wait for the game to start. Go ahead and call in and get registered, please. That phone number is one eight hundred six five one. 4814. That's 1 800 651 4814. And you can get registered in here and be sure that any prize that you win, you'll get it. That's <laughs> true. And I guess we just joined right now. Fatima, who was the winner last night, she's not here with us. She's at home. Uh, last night uh, was we a special. We have two Fatimas, night. one here and one at home. One at home. This one is Fatima only. This the one we have here, Fatima. Wait a minute. Fatima Abdi. only? <laughs> That's a strange <laughs> last name, only. No, no, no. Only the lonely. Never mind the songs. <laughs> she Forget didn't add that. the last name. We'll That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, All right. I, so we have those that are joining us from home. Guys, we're going to be taking uh, some time to give you that extra uh, time needed to join because we want everyone participating and we want to be fair since tonight yeah. is the grand we're going to be giving out the grand prize. And remember, you're going to be learning close to 50% of the words from the Quran. So based, uh, other than the award or the uh, award we're giving, you're going to be getting something better uh, inside of Allah. And in case of, of any ties, mm -hmm. we will give ties. Oh, that's nice. A so nice long tie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Computer won't allow us to yeah. do that. It won't. It, it is, what it will do is the, it will look at the... Uh, uh, last night, we had four people that are Thai. But what happened was it, uh, the computer looks at the how fast you answered, how fast you submitted your so answer. So a nanosecond can a make nanosecond the difference. nanosecond can make the difference. So go and, and get that finger ready boom. when you know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So that nanosecond counts. So if All someone right, guys. beats you to it, then hey, what can we do? Sounds good. Mashallah. I think we got a little short break, just a mm -hmm. short break coming up right now. And we'll be right back after this. Don't go away because we want everybody to get guided. With Guide Us TV. Mashallah.
about to receive that load that we've been telling you about, that big load of books that are coming to us all the way from Washington, D.C., Virginia area where they received it over there. We're bringing it to the warehouse. That's the truck. You're looking at it right now. Now we're going to show you unloading it and what 24 pallets of boxes of books and tapes and CDs for Islam looks like. So just stay with us. Be careful as we go around here. I don't want you to get run over now. <laughs> Take it easy. Here we go. 24 pallets of books and tapes and videos for Islam. That's right. We're very excited about this. This will be the very biggest shipment ever to come to this part of the United States to help Islam, the true message, the real meaning, the beauties, the love, the tolerance, the patience. And we sure need a lot of that, don't we? And that's what we're talking about. TV. I'm Yusuf Estes for Guide Us TV. Are you fed up with watching some of these commercial channels that are out there now, the information that's coming to us twisted or improper and things that we don't want our kids to watch? So that's why we have Guide Us TV and we're broadcasting all over the United States Canada, Alaska, Hawaii, the Caribbean Islands, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no commercial interruptions, no advertising, and no subscription rate. All of that to keep it free, to keep Islam out there in front of the people, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, enjoying and benefiting from these great shows and our live programs coming to us on a regular basis from great scholars in the United States, Canada, and around the world showing us, teaching us in the English language how to deal with the problems we all face every day from the Islamic perspective. That's what I'm talking about. So we all come away with a much better understanding and a way to deal with life's problems. Ah. Get guided, get guided, oh. Guide us TV. Now we are back and we're really excited tonight because we've got the program going on here. It's Eid, everybody knows that, the celebration after the day of Arafat on, mm -hmm. in the Hajj. Uh, before we go to any further, I, I wanted to mention something about what we have in the news, you know, mm -hmm. that we heard a report today that 700 and something, 717 people perished during a rush and then also they had about 800 more who were injured. And the uh, news plays that up as though this is really, you know, like the end of the world kind of a thing, so sad, blah, blah, blah. And we say that, yeah, we, we say, in lahi wa in lahi rajiun. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know that when somebody dies, we say, in lahi wa in lahi rajiun. From Allah we came and to Allah is the return. We as Muslims believe that this life is only temporary. You're not going to live forever here. Everybody knows you're going to die. So this life is a test by Allah. And for those people who die while they're pleasing Allah by doing the things they're supposed to do, they get a big reward. So if somebody dies while they're in Salah, if they die while they're in Ramadan, if they're fasting, you know, uh, and they're in Salah, this is something really big in a good way. So even though there were some young people who died, we wouldn't say, oh, this is terrible, this tragedy. No, for those of us that are alive, we are the ones who feel, oh, this is sad for us because mm -hmm. we're selfish. We want that person to be with us. We appreciate them and we love them. And, but for them, they're in a very good place. Inshallah. Inshallah. Right? Inshallah. So we should mention that for those of you would, that may have encountered some of this on the Facebook and the Twitter and things like this. 
It is something that we do say, though, in the lillahi wa in the rajiun, from Allah we came, and Allah. and Allah is the one we're all going back to. Now, to come back to our program, now, you mentioned earlier that we were going to learn some words tonight right. that comprise, I think you said, close to 6,000 occurrences in the Quran. In three minutes. In three minutes. Yeah. The On your mark, get set. <laughs> It'll Take be, it over. Okay, mashallah. So everyone that is joining us from home, uh, welcome back. It is Eid night. Uh, inshallah, it will be double Eid because some of you, or one of you, will be, inshallah, the winner tonight. Uh, we will be taking the points from all the previous nights, and we will uh, count and let you know the results. But get ready, inshallah, we're about to start the competition, and the reason behind this competition is we're encouraging every single person that is joining us from home and those in the studio and those who go to uh, Islamic schools that we learn the Quran, memorize the Quran at the same time understand the Quran. So for those who have been joining us, mashallah, uh, you've benefited a lot. We know that by looking at the results. Last night we were looking at it and some of you, so on some of the questions it was 100%. Some of the questions was 100%. Uh, and we encourage you to let your friends and family know about the program and join and be part of this competition because this competition is going to help you in this world and the hereafter because you'll be learning the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially the words that occur in the Quran often uh, so high frequency words these are the words we're learning and as we said we're going to be going over 50 percent close to 50 percent of the Quran within the next 30 minutes or so. So get ready, inshallah. Um, now we have uh, most of the people that normally join. Some of you are busy with the family. Some of you are out on Eid. Uh, guys, should we start or should we give extra minute? Huh? Okay, some of the girls say, uh, let's give extra minute. Who is ready tonight? All right, it seems like everyone is ready, huh? Who thinks they will win tonight? Okay, mashallah, everyone thinks they're going to win, huh? Including Muhammad Amin. Muhammad Amin, you're going to win tonight, huh? Okay, mashallah. So everyone believes they're the winner. That's what we want. All of you are winners in the sight of Allah because we're learning the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And every word that comes up, every letter, how many edges do we get, guys? Ten. Ten. So tonight you're going to be walking away with a lot of edges. Are you guys ready for that? Okay, good, mashallah. So, uh, for those who are joining us uh, from home, we're going to give you one more minute. Pick up your tablet, your computer, your uh, iPhone, whatever it may be, any smartphone. Uh, you have the website. It is iqquran.com. And the code for the night is 13-19-42. So, join and we're going to start the competition, inshallah, like we said, in one minute. Uh, for those who are joining us, this is Eid night. But we're going to be giving out that $1,000 uh, reward, inshallah. So the, your points for tonight will determine uh, what we're going to give you next. So we said, I think by now, the time is up. So we'll start the competition. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One, two, three. Uh, it'll be 35 questions. Let's get ready, guys. Here comes the first question. All right. Seems like 11 of you got this one in already. I was looking at it so that to give you normally, we'll give you a uh, pause to choose your word. And as usual, what are we going to do on the screen? What do, we, uh, what do we do, guys? We read the word how many times? Five. Okay, let's go. Let's start. Okay. So what does the word min mean? Does it mean... Um, and out of what? Does it mean and off? Does it mean about what? Or does it mean from? These are the four options. Who knows how many times this word repeats in the Quran? Ahmed. No. Yes? MashaAllah to Sa'id. Close to three. 3,000 and some number, okay? We're not going to give you exact number, but it repeats 3,000. 16 of you got this one right? Ah, mashallah. So that means 
uh, this is a good progress. Let's go to the next word. So you already know how many words from the Quran right now? To be exact, I'll let you guys know uh, the exact number. 3,226 times. It takes some different forms, but this is the base word and repeats the Quran how many times? 3,226. Uh, let's go for the next question and we'll find out. Let's find out the results. Sa'id Umar is number one. Sumaya Umar is number two. Ahmed is number uh, three. Fadumu number four. Muhibbu number uh, Mafartun. Umar is number five. Let's move on to the next question. This is very easy. Uh, everyone, let's look at it. This, re this word repeats in the Quran often. And I think, Bismillah, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah, we've seen this word so many times. So we already know that this Qul huwa Allah, uh, that this word uh, repeats in the Quran often. So let's all say the word. What is the word? Allah. Okay. Allah. Allah. Uh, mm -hmm. Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah. Okay. The word Allah comes in different forms. Uh, sometimes it's who, sometimes Allah, instead of the ha having fatha, uh, it comes in different forms. But this word, guys, can you guess how many times it repeats in the Quran? Can someone guess? Uh, yes? Around 2,000 times. To be precise, 2,699. With these two words, how many, how many words do we know from the Quran so far? Five thousand nine hundred and twenty-five words. So we're going to move on to the next one. We're going to move on to the next one, and then we'll find out uh, the result. Mashallah, seventeen of you. This one, God. This is we just called it Allah or God. Uh, now let's see. Only th five people missed it. Uh, Ahmed uh, came on top. Uh, we have uh, Fadum uh, Saeed, Fadum Sumaya, and the ranking. The only thing that changes, Ahmed came in. Uh, the next word is that we have, uh, you guys will look at it, we'll all pronounce it together. Look at the word, we're looking at your accuracy and your speed. All the people that are on the top five, you have not missed it. How fast you're hitting, sometimes it's good to be careful to look at it and choose the right answer because one question can cost you the entire competition. This is very easy. Now our goal is to learn close to 50% of the Quran in one night. Isn't that cool guys? Yeah. Uh, MashaAllah. Okay, so what is the word? Okay, good. This word, um, I want to ask you, how many times does this word repeat in the Quran guys? Can someone tell me? Take a guess. Fartoon. Around 5,000. No, this particular word, Ahmed? Uh, Sumaya? Yeah, good. 1,700. 1,700. So now, this is good, mashallah. Now, 16 of you got this one right, mashallah. Uh, what, is the, what does the word mean? Speed. And in. Okay, in, mashallah. So now we know three words that repeat in the Quran. I'll let you know the number. Is, has it been three minutes? I think it's been three minutes. Guess how many words we're at so far? 7,626 words from the Quran. How many words does the Quran have? Close to approximation, yes? No. Words, words, not ayah. About 70, close to uh, 78, uh, 78 uh, approximation, 78,000. So if you already know 7,000, what is left, right? We're only three words. Now we know 7,000. And I'll guarantee you open any page you'll find one of these words. Now, let's move on to the next word. Um, here it comes, look at it, is question number four for the ninth. Everybody read it. What happened? Uh, you, guys, you guys were playing uh, around today. Uh, Eid and you've lost your energy. Let's say it together one time. Inna. Good. Inna. Mm -hmm. Inna. Okay, good. Inna. Let's find out how many times this word repeats in the Quran. The previous word we said 1,701. This word repeats 1,682 times. So, 
how many words did we learn so far? Let's look at our estimation. With this word, we're at 9,308 words from the Quran. And we have about 11 seconds. Are you guys excited that you learned that many words from the Quran? It was 78,000. You already know how many? 9,000. Are going to be. Okay, let's see. What is, the, what, what is the word? Let's say it again. Inna. And what does it mean? Indeed. Indeed. For those who are joining us from home, you have the code uh, and you have the website. Join us. Uh, we're going to be learning a lot of words from the Quran, inshallah. Uh, let's move on. Salmo came in. Salmo is in the studio. Salmo, mashallah, she is number five right now. Let's move on to the next word. This word is also precious. It has, it repeats in the Quran often. Let's look at the word. Mashallah, a lot of you are submitting in fast. Good. Um, we have, let's see, some people are still looking. They're still making their choice, submitting the answer. That's nice. Uh, everybody say the word five times. Okay, good. MashaAllah. Uh, I think we've got a good pronunciation of what the word, the sound of it. Now let's find out how many times this word repeats in the Quran. Who wants to take a guess? Who wants to guess? Yes. 200 something, very good guess, but uh, not close. Ahmed. 1,445 times. Guess what? Your hingat or your uh, reading Quran will be easy if, you've, uh, if you figure out the pronunciation of this words. So right now, with this uh, four wo uh, five words, we're at 10,753 words from the Quran. Isn't that cool, guys? All right, let's, 13 of you got this one. Uh, it means on. Let's move on to the next one. Sayyiduk came on number five. Good job, Sayyiduk. We're going to move on to the next one. Everyone get ready. Um, look at it, and you will let me know what this word means. Look at it. This is also another word that it repeats in the Quran often. What is the how do you how, how do you pronounce this word guys? Good job. Does it mean those who of the one who the one which? Um, so we have four options. Now let's re let's see. I, I want to see who's gonna let me know or let us know how many times this word repeats in the Quran. Who wants to take a guess on that? Fartun. A thousand. Very good. A thousand four hundred and forty-two. Alladina versus the uh, other word that we had. They're very close. Yes. Hmm. Yep. That's that's right, Ahmed. Uh, now that means time is up. Uh, those. Who? 18 of you got this one right. MashaAllah, we're in, a, we're in a roll. Only two people missed it. Now let's move on to the uh, next word. But this one is easy. It repeats in the Quran often. Do you guys know that? Yeah. Make your choice. Good. Now let's read the word. Okay, good. So, what does la mean? Don't say it. Because we don't want to give the answer. But you know it, huh? Okay. How many times does it repeat in the Quran? Uh, okay, why is Okay, say it all this time. Go ahead. A thousand. Let's see if it is a thousand. One thousand three hundred and sixty-four times. Can you guys believe that? How many? You know how many words we've learned so far? Who could tell me? Who's been counting? Yes, Ahmed. Thirteen thousand... 559. Very good. You're good You're good with math? Is that what it is? Okay, you're a guest. Okay. So we have 13,559 words from the Quran. So this tonight is a very beneficial night. Uh, we're focusing on 20% of the 20%, uh, which will give us, inshallah, a greater result. Now, we have uh, 17 of you that got it. Six of you missed it, inshallah. For the ones that did not know, now you know. Um, now, Ahmed is still on top, Sumaya number two. Uh, Fadumo came on number five. Good job to Fadumo. Now, I'm, I'm going to mention as people come into the ranking, this word in the Quran, you'll see it so many times as well. Repeats in the Quran often. Very famous word. Now, let's see. All of you say it.
Oh, okay. Ma and Zmim and Alif. How many times does it re repeat in the Quran? When someone was giving me, yes? 1,200. Let's see if you are right, Saeed. 1,266 times. That is correct, mashallah. So now that brings us to what? How many words do we know right now? Let's see who's good with math. Yes, Fatun. 14,825. You're correct. 14,000 is the right answer, mashallah. Now, how many? How many? Yes. 5,000 from the previous number. Good job, mashallah. This is good. Now we know a lot of words from the Quran. Guess what? A lot of you got this one right. Mashallah. We have 19 people that got it. I think it was easy because maybe previously we covered this word. Now let's move on to the... Uh, ma means what? Ma, what does it mean? It was what, right? Uh, Sumaya is now number one. We're going to move on to the uh, next question. Now let's look at this. Uh, what is the question, guys? Uh, Submit the answer and let's find out how well you'll do. MashaAllah. And I told you guys, one question, you're done for the night unless just pray. Oh my God, I wish that person misses or something like that. <laughs> because the, if you miss, if you, if, uh, each question is worth how many questions? Uh, how many guys? 1,000 points. You automatically lose your ranking. So if you're on number one right now, you want to keep that ranking. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to look at anywhere else. You want to keep it so that you win. Now, let's look at the word. What is the word? Okay, that's it. Now, uh, we had Rabbuka, Rabbukum. We had, that, uh, we had those words previously. Now, um, just to make sure, we put different forms. We, you see the word Lord. But Rabb means what, guys? The Lord. the Lord, right? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our Lord. Um, seven of you missed it, but technically you went for uh, another answer which has Lord, but we're looking for uh -huh. the Lord. Now, uh, before we move on, actually we will mention, mashallah, Fatima, who was the winner last night, right now is ranking number five. It seems like a lot of people are fighting for the top five. We won it. Uh, everybody wants to become number one, but now Fatima who's joining us from home, is number five. So make sure that you join us. For those who are um, at home, uh, you could be a winner, mashallah. And we're giving out a grand prize of $100, now, $1,000. Now, now let's move on to the next word. And we'll let you know how many words we've learned from the Quran so far after you submit your answers. All right, let's see. Mashallah, you guys are doing great. A lot of you are getting the answer within seconds. Now, let's pronounce the word for everyone. What is it? Ilah. What is it? Mm-hmm. Good. Um, now, before we look at it, let's find out how many words we've learned so far. The word, uh, the, the word Rabb repeats in the Quran 975. The word Ilah, which we just looked at it right now, repeats in the Quran uh, 700. So now if we count all the words so far, we're at 16,542 words from the Quran. How many, how many, how many words did I say? 16,542 Right, that's right. 16,542 words. And we have not been sitting here a lot. Right? This will give you easy. This will be easy, inshallah. Now let's move on and see uh, the ranking. Top five, nothing has changed. Fatima, work harder, mashallah. Now let's move on to the uh, uh, next word. Um, we've seen this word before, but it was in another form. Or is it repeat? Now let's look at it. Uh, min, men. Uh, the two come in two different variation. The first one was min. The son is men. Uh, they have two different translations. So do not go with the previous one. Or actually, the previous one has been removed uh, to get rid of uh, confusion. Because the previous one we learned was, what was it, guys? Mid, from. from. The other one was from. This one is men. 
men, okay, now look at it. It repeats in the Quran 600 times. Uh, and we have about 15 seconds. So if you're home, make your choice. We're going to give you the time to submit in the answer. Now let's count how many words we've learned so far up to this point. We've learned 17,852 words. Time is up. We're going to move on to the next word. MashaAllah. Guess what? 15 of you got this one right. And after learning 17,000 words from the Quran, we will take this short break and we will come back. Do not go away and get guided with Darf TV. I'm Yusuf Estes for Guidus TV. Are you fed up with watching some of these commercial channels that are out there now, the information that's coming to us twisted or improper and things that we don't want our kids to watch? So that's why we have Guidus TV. And we're broadcasting all over the United States, Canada, Alaska, Hawaii, the Caribbean islands, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No commercial interruptions, no advertising, and no subscription rate. All of that to keep it free, to keep Islam out there in front of the people, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, enjoying and benefiting from these great shows and our live programs coming to us on a regular basis from great scholars in the United States, Canada, and around the world, showing us, teaching us in the English language how to deal with the problems we all face every day from the Islamic perspective. That's what I'm talking about. So we all come away with a much better understanding and a way to deal with life's problems. Ah. Get guided, get guided, oh. Guide us TV. Welcome back everyone, uh, we're going to be continuing the competition, uh, MashaAllah, we've learned 17,000 words so far, now from here on we'll stop counting, we're just going to continue, we'll just focus on, uh, we'll just focus on the words, one final time for those who are joining us, we're just going to look at how many words we've learned so far. We have 17,852 and we've uh, learned 12 words. So 12 words have given us so far 17,852, close to 20,000 words. Now from here on, we're not going to be doing the counting. We're just going to go straight into the competition. But like we said, we will be teaching you close to 50% of the Quran tonight with this competition. And we'll be giving out a $1,000 award to the top person uh, combined all the days that we've been having this competition. Now let's move on to the next word and do not lose your ranking. Sumaya is still on top. Now let's move on to the next word. Here it comes. Now, here comes the word. All right, what is the question, guys? What, is, what do you guys see on the screen? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's pause one, one time. Let's say one time together. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. One more time with energy. Good, mashallah. 19 of you already submitted the answer. 20 of you submitted the answer. For those who are joining us from home, it's the Eid night. We know a lot of you are uh, busy with the family, but we wanted to continue because we promised that we'll do this 10 days, and this happens to be the 10th night. Yeah, we've I'm learned. glad you mentioned mm -hmm. this, by the way. We were just talking with our control booth manager and everything, and they said that we're going to give all the prizes tonight. We're going to announce everything except one. Mm -hmm. because the ones, and they said the ones, because they don't want to tell me exactly yet, but the ones 
who are eligible for the number one thousand dollar prize mm -hmm. are most likely not even watching tonight because of Eid. Ah, that's true. So they said mm -hmm. tomorrow night is the announcement for the thousand dollars. Okay. Tomorrow night is the announcement, so be sure and tell everybody to watch tomorrow night for that. Mm. But other than that, the prizes we're going to be dealing with tonight, we're mashallah. ready to do that when you're ready. Okay, that's good, mashallah. So 11 of you got this one, right? Uh, we're close to 20-some thousand words from the Qur'an so far. Mashallah. Uh, and it's actually, amazing. Actually, within the first three minutes, we've learned 7,000 words. Yes, I know. Uh, mashallah. So now... We've even, we're giving you more than we promised. Uh, now we're going to move on with the competition. We have uh, several more questions before we call it a night. But uh, hang, hang on because, mashallah, a lot of you are, are doing a, a good work. And we're learning the words of Allah. Next time we open the Quran, you'll see these words repeat often. Now, let's see the ranking. We have Sumaya number one, uh, Fartun number two, Sayyiduk number three, Fadumma number four. And we have Saeed, that is number five. Let's move on to the next question. Here comes the next question. Look at it carefully and make your choice right away. Uh, as you submit the answer with speed, make sure that you don't touch the wrong button because if you do, you will lose. And that's not something you want to do. All right, let's see. Uh, let's all pronounce the word one time. What is it? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Illa. Okay, now mashallah. What does it mean? Expect to. Expect is. Expect f uh, form. Expect. Okay. Uh, so even there's miss. You could look at the uh, options. One of them you could automatically get rid of it because it isn't even uh, written right. But you could look at all the other ones. We've... Uh, Mixed up all of them because we want you to make the right choice, guys. Now we have 23 of you that submitted the answer. Let's find out. We found what the answer is. 15 of you got it. Uh, eight of you went somewhere else, but that's fine. It seems like 16 of you are right into the competition tonight. Now let's find out. Sumaya is still number one. Let's move on to the next word. Uh, MashaAllah. This one should be very easy uh, and you should... This is this we've covered this word before. And what is it, guys? What does it mean? Oh, okay. Do not tell me. <laughs> that was a joke. Because <laughs> we do not want to say the meaning of the word because it'll give the answer to those who are participating from home. We want you to make your choice. Tonight is a very special night. We're covering, instead of cover, uh, going uh, from surah to surah, now we've learned, how many surahs do we learn, guys, so far? Nine surahs, good, mashallah, you're paying attention. Nine surahs so far, that's what, we will, uh, what we've learned. Now, uh, knowing nine surahs, we've changed the competition tonight since it is the uh, final night for the ten nights that we promised. We will talk to you as to how many other nights will be coming back, but... Uh, Okay, time is up actually. Now, what does dhalika uh, mean, guys? That, okay, mashallah. And we're giving you the basic form of the word, so you'll have understanding what, of what's being talked about. Uh, now, let's move on to the next word. Uh, uh, let's look at it. Make your choice. I won't interrupt you. Let's look at the word. As soon as I see that you guys submitted your answer, we're going to talk about it. Now, uh, let's all pronounce the word. Okay, good. Okay, so what is the word? An, right? Uh, what is the meaning? Does it mean for? Does it mean from it? Does it mean of what? Or does it mean you? Those are the four options. Make your choice and we will see how well you did. Inshallah, in a little while, we're going to check how many words uh, we've learned. But we're not going to be putting focus on how many words uh, we've learned from here on, as we said. But we have eight seconds. And we're giving it to those who are joining us from home to make their selection before we move on to the next question. MashaAllah. Uh, what, is, what does an mean, guys? An? Four. Four. Good. MashaAllah. Uh, some of you went somewhere else. 
from it, not, not knowing why. Uh, let's move on to the next word. This word repeats in the Quran often, but it's a very easy word. Uh, it's very. Make sure that you. Okay, let's all pronounce the word. What is it? What is it? Al Ardi. Okay, hey. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more time. The Sheikh in the beginning of the program, he was asking us as to what the is in Arabic. And we see that it comes in this word. Uh, the word al means, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give you guys. It means what? What does al mean? You guys could say it. What does it mean? The. Now, next time we open the Quran, look at how many words start with al. Right? Al -rah, al -rah, al -rah. You will see al, and is the, it means the, the word is the, so you guys will see it often. The word ard, you will see it so many times as well. What does it mean, guys? What is this word? The earth. The earth. The, earth. the and earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses ard in the Quran so many times. Now you know what it means. Let's move on to the next word. Uh, Fartoon is number one right now. Sumaya number two. Uh, we're going to move on to the next word. Let's get ready. Um, this one comes in the Quran often as well. You'll see this word often. MashaAllah, a lot of you are making your selection very fast. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Qad. 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 Say it again. Qad. I, wa I want all of us to say it at the same time. Qad. Okay. Qad. Mm -hmm. Qad. Okay. Okay, good. So from now on, I'm going to do this. We'll count. We'll do it five times. And then you guys know, right? You guys know what it is. Uh, MashaAllah, a lot of you already made your selection. For those who are joining us from home, we're going to give you, your, your, we're gonna give you uh, some time to make the selection. Tonight, we're focusing on words that repeat in the Quran often. And it's very important to know these words because by the time you're done, with the vocabulary that repeats in the Quran often, it'll be easy for you to understand what you're reading. And that is what we want. Um, and uh, that means, in about one second we're going to find out. Guys, let's say the word and let's say the meaning. What is the word in Arabic? Qad. Qad. Okay, and what does it mean? Indeed. Indeed. Uh, there is no end. A lot of you went with end, indeed. Uh, the word wa, if it came, if what was added, then we would have said end but now right now is the word qad itself um, and it means indeed let's move on to the uh, next word we're on the 18th question for the night we'll find out uh, how well everyone does let's move on let's see mashallah a lot of you are making your selection very fast let's see all right so uh, let's say the word. Good, mashallah. Good job. Um, what does it mean? Does it mean when, but when, then when, and when? Uh, you guys notice that there's when in all of them, but the word is just one inside that place. So it should be easy. Uh, I think when we were making this quiz, we wanted to get everyone to get this one answered right. Because it's all easy. Uh, the word when is in there. Should, everyone should get this one right. Uh, right now, we have uh, most of you submitted the answer, but we're going to give extra three seconds for joining us from home. Time is up. Now we're going to move on. What is the word, guys? Iza. What does it mean? When. When. when Masha'Allah. Uh, let's move on to the next word. Fadhuma came, uh, I mean, Sumaya came on top. Uh, let's move on. Ranking is changing. Uh, this one is easy. You guys will see this in the Quran often as well. If you know this, tonight we're equipping you. You will be equipped by the time where you're done with this competition. A lot of words that repeat in the Quran often. Next time when you're reading the Quran, you'll have understanding. I have one uh, of the participants who said after learning this, the Quran previously was like Chinese to him. Now he has understanding of what he reads. Um, so now our goal is to focus on the words that repeat in the Quran often. Uh, learn those words, learn the, the translation of those words, so it'll be easier for us
to have understanding of what we're reading uh, every day. So um, the word here, guys, what is it? Oh. Let's say it. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, قوم. Uh, now the you all know what that means a people or people either way uh, now it could have been your it could not be in the now we have two more questions and inshallah we'll call it the night um, here's here comes another question guys okay all of us let's say the word uh, submit your answer first because I don't want anyone missing it. Okay, let's say the word. Okay, let's all say it one time. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, mashaAllah. Now, uh, what does it mean? A sign versus his sign, our sign. So look at the option and make your selection. We're looking into most of the words that we're, look, we're, we're going after is um, the base word. So look at it, submit your answer. We'll do one more question and we're going to end the competition for the night. So for those who are joining from home, make sure you do not miss this question because if you do, it will change the ranking. And we don't want anyone missing um, even one question. Now, it means... We see the answer. This is the last question for the night. And get ready. We will pronounce it right after some of you submit the answer. All right, let's see. All right, all of us, let's say it. What is the word? Okay. Does it mean of every? Does it mean then for each? Does it mean all of it? Or does it mean... You have the options that is being displayed on the screen. You have all of them. This is the last question, guys. Remember, and we've covered a lot of words that repeat in the Quran often. By the end of this competition, all of you should have understanding of, um, of what, you re uh, what you're reading. And guaranteed, or guaranteeing you one thing, if you open the Quran, any page that you open, you will see one of the words we learned tonight. In fact, You'll see more than five on every single page, uh, if not more. So this is the last question. We'll find out the ranking and we'll announce. Okay, mashallah. This, we've come to an end, Sheikh. This is the last question for the night. Yes. And we have Sumaya, who was number two, uh, as our number one for the night over there. She has 19,620 questions. So, mashallah, we have How is this possible? <laughs> we're we're going to find mashallah. out. So, mashallah, we have that. We have also uh, Fartoon that is sitting there. That is number two. We have uh, Fadumu, number three. We have Sayruq, number four. Saeed Umar, number five. And uh, Zakaria, what is your ranking? Number eight. Number eight. Who's number five here? Number six. Kane, number seven. Seven is at home. Eight. Okay, mashallah. So uh, they're here, and uh, we're going to be taking it from here to find out. We we did mention that tomorrow we're going to go ahead since a lot of people are at home and they're busy with Eid, with the family. Some, some are not them, even home. Some of them are. Yeah, exactly. Some are not even home. Yeah. Uh, so okay, inshallah. So this was the end of our uh, our program, and uh, inshallah we'll be coming back tomorrow and get guided with. It is TV. TV.